Liberal Viewer presents. So, there was breaking news on Fox News today that another one of the 18 people charged as co-defendants with former President Donald Trump in Georgia has flipped and admitted to conspiring to overturn the results of that state's election using illegal means, which seems surprising to former Trump press secretary and Harvard Law School graduate Kaylee McEnany, as you can see in this clip. Kenneth Chesbrough is taking a plea deal in the Georgia election case. This comes on the heels of Sidney Powell's just yesterday. Fox News correspondent Matt Finn is live with the details. Yeah, we are monitoring this ongoing uh, hearing right now. Uh, Attorney Kenneth Chesbrough apparently pleaded guilty to one conspiracy charge. Uh, it is a lesser uh, reduced misdemeanor. It's not that heavier racketeering charge that he initially was charged with. He'll have to do community service. He says he's already written a letter of apology to the people of Georgia. Uh, that is something also Sidney Powell will have to do. This is pretty much an 11th hour maneuver because jury selection had begun this morning. We were monitoring the jury selection uh, and now there was a freeze uh, in that process. Now we are seeing uh, Chesbro standing before the judge. Uh, the details of the agreement are being read out right now and it seems like the judge uh, is about to approve them. Back to you. Thank you, Matt Finn. Sure. Uh, you know, Molly, it was always a question because there are many defendants, more than a dozen. I lose track. I believe it's 18. And these two broke off first. Chesborough, yep. Sidney Powell uh, chose to go first. And these plea deals came as a surprise to many. The first yesterday, the second today. Yeah. Huh. So I had to be amused by the Fox News bias in that so-called news report from Matt Finn because you could hardly tell what the crime was in the guilty plea. Conspiracy? Conspiracy to do what? It was conspiracy to file false documents creating fake electors, and it was a felony, not a misdemeanor, by the way. But I was even more amused by Harvard Law School graduate Kaylee McEnany's supposed surprise, given this outcome was pretty likely, as I pointed out in my August 28th Monday media mix-up, as you can see in this clip. Uh, I actually took corporate and white-collar crime class when I was in law school and uh, worked uh, when I was a law clerk for the federal public defender when I was in law school on a uh, white collar crime case and uh, I think that uh, the RICO thing is uh, very uh, applicable as you know the Georgia RICO statute uh, particularly which I've looked at uh, is particularly applicable to this kind of wide-ranging group conspiracy to overturn the results of the Georgia election through illegal means. And if you've read the Georgia indictment, uh, it's like puts it all together there and even talks about things going on in other states and Trump's supposed perfect phone call, but it's also these fake electors. And uh, that's why I think it's quite likely that these people who are uh, requesting a speedy trial, like what is it, October 23rd trial, that those trials aren't really going to take place. It's just part of a strategy that's going to end up in a plea bargain and maybe the flipping, flipping on Donald Trump and becoming uh, witnesses for the state that I think that's quite likely to happen. Hmm, now, Kaylee McEnany is more of a media liar than a Harvard lawyer, so I don't take her supposed surprise at the most likely outcome at face value, so I have to ask, why is Fox News's Kaylee McEnany spinning the unsurprising flipping of Trump co-defendants as a surprise? And for my regular viewers, would you like me to upload more videos using my legal background to cover the many criminal cases against former President Donald Trump? I YouTube, you decide.